Hello everyone, Matthew here. In today's video, I'm going to review the X-Carve CNC Machine by Inventables. Uh, if you want to find out more about this, there is a link to the Inventables website uh, down in the description below. Uh, now, full disclosure, uh, Inventables did send me this machine for free in exchange for this video. Uh, I plan on giving my honest opinion about everything, uh, so I haven't been bought and paid for or anything like that. Uh, this will be an honest review. Uh, so with that disclaimer in place, this is a totally awesome machine, you should go buy one today! I'm just screwing with you. Uh, it is a fantastic machine though, and uh, I do recommend it. Uh, so I figured we'd kind of go piece by piece and uh, to tell you my thoughts on it. So let's start with the rail system here, which is based off of the Maker Slide, very, very similar to the Shiboko 2. Uh, still sturdy, like the Shiboko 2, works well. Uh, really no complaints about that, other than the Y-axis gantry. Just like the Shiboko 2, there is a little bit of flex in the line. Uh, the new end plates on the side have been redesigned, moving the stepper motors forward, which essentially moves the gantry back. Uh, that's really nice, it gives you more build volume because your uh, spindle doesn't hang off the front of the, the end anymore. Uh, the NEMA 23 stepper motors, fantastic. Uh, I had just upgraded my Shiboko 2 to the NEMA 23s uh, when I received this guy. Uh, can't say enough about them. Uh, they are great motors, a lot beefier than the NEMA 17s. Uh, so if you do get the kit, I highly recommend getting the NEMA 23 upgrade, uh, well worth the money. Uh, the X-Gantry, a lot better design than the Shiboko 2. Shibo the Shiboko 2 had the, the front plate and the, the back plate and a bunch of spaces in the middle. This is just a one piece extrusion, which everything kind of goes on the inside. It was a little bit difficult to uh, assemble because of that. You had to get your Allen wrenches inside of there. Uh, not too big of an issue. Uh, it does hang a little bit low, in my opinion. I kind of felt that that could be raised up if you didn't have this bottom lip. But, yeah, I mean, you're only losing three quarters of an inch there. Not a huge deal. Uh, the Z axis has also been redesigned. Uh, the submotor has been moved back and placed underneath. It's belt driven. Uh, works very, very well. Uh, I had done that upgrade to the Shiboko 2, uh, which I like. Kind of clears this front area here, uh, so you get more spindle clearance. Uh, uh, the drag chains that come with the uh, x car uh, very, very handy. Uh, you kind of have to wire everything first before you actually hook it up to make sure your, your links are run. Uh, really like it, really good cable management. Uh, kind of the, the one issue that I, uh, actually I like two issues with this. The first issue is it's really only set up to set up, to set up on one way. Uh, it connects on this side, loops over, goes this way, it connects this, it's supposed to run backwards into the front here. Uh, I really wanted it to go on the other side, I had built this whole cart like that and then I had to rebuild it when I realized that you couldn't swap the signs with the wiring. Uh, I think that would be one improvement, is you just need a couple more threaded holes on your plates there and no problems. Uh, one of the other issues I had was uh, the drag chain was rubbing on the wires on the back of the, the Z-axis motor, so I used some spacers to kind of lift that up so uh, that, to give it some clearance. Uh, I did manage to get the drag chain on the side of it reversed, uh, but I had to use like two inch spacers, space it off of the, the plate uh, to get it to clear the stepper motor right here. Uh, it works pretty good. The power supply and the Arduino right here. Uh, that's a mess of wires, but I'm not going to pull that out. Uh, much improved from the Shiboko 2. Uh, the, the fan and the housing and it all going together is really, really nice. Keeps it all nice and contained. Uh, I was running a, a, a half tone carving project yesterday. This thing ran for five hours and didn't have any problems. No missteps, no overheating, no nothing. Uh, so the new the new electronic setup is really really nice. Uh, I do still plan on uh, upgrading it to the Tiny G. Uh, I just like that setup a little bit better. 
but this is more than capable for anybody that's out there. The spindle that comes with the X-Car kit, really the only thing I'm not very satisfied with. Uh, it's not very powerful. I'd say it's a little bit better than a Dremel tool, but not much. Uh, it takes a long time to cut stuff. It does cut and it cuts well, it just can't go very deep. Uh, I would definitely recommend going with a trim router, which I plan to be upgrading this uh, fairly soon here. Uh, Inventable Cells a nice uh, mount for the DeWalt. Uh, unfortunately, I have the Makita. Uh, I prefer the Makita over the DeWalt, so I'm going to see if I can make that mount work on the Makita. So with all that said, I would definitely recommend the X-Car CNC machine for anybody that's looking to get into the hobby. Uh, I love my Shiboko too, uh, and this is just kind of a bigger, better version of it. It's got a few more bells and whistles. Uh, the size is fantastic. Uh, I think it's going to be more than adequate for anything I need to do. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I didn't address or anything that I did address, uh, please leave a question down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those. And as always, thank you for watching.